mostly in Asia. Like if uh, a family owns a desktop or a laptop, they would rather let the male play with the laptop rather than a female. So we self-censor that, oh, this, that is not the thing we should do that. Or that is like just a male thing or something like that. So we start to self-censor as, I think now is the time we should stop censoring ourselves. So tech is like, just do that. Tech is important in our daily lives. We can go backwards. We are going to uh, go forward. So we need to use technology. We need to take benefit of it. We need to take advantage of it. And then makes our lives easier. I can live without my phone and laptop. <laughs> yeah, so just like everyone say, uh, without, without technology, uh, we will still be going to go through a tons of work to find one solution or one information. But now we just Google it <laughs> and everything comes out. So yeah, technology is like everything to me. It's like, and I still think, you know, it's still one step behind the guy's rule. For now, it's like, but some parts is uh, developing, uh, but it's, it takes time and it, it goes very slowly. For a very traditional family or a religious family, they find it that the uh, boy is more important to be educated and to be talented because why uh, will be men one day who will lead a family for four girls who will be just housewives who will be supporting the other other men in a, a family so so most of the most of the traditional family think that why will be more educated than girls so let's say in the family there is there is a one son and one daughter, but one da daughter should be more submissive and obedient than the guys. Maybe the son uh, he can go out late, he can come back very late. But for the girl, is the she she has to come home early, and also she has to do all the housework. And uh, in terms of the career, um, still in Myanmar, you know the social norm and the tradition is like um, it's something we can we can against yet in some part of area. I, I don't say it's not the same in the corporate area, but in the, the traditional business or in the normal business, the women role are still behind. Let's say in the management team, if the, uh, they don't want to listen to the woman opinion, the decision. And also women leaders are very tough because uh, it should be very tough for them to, uh, for them to listen to their voice. Say that um, there are many women working in tech fields and everything, uh, but for the leading role, for the leading role, there are fewer women than men in the leading role. Uh, Myanmar women are very interbedded, and most of the well, most of the Myanmar women are like solving uh, problems that really matters to them, and not just techno, not just technical thing. They have to like solve their problems from family staff to the work staff. Yeah. Hey, Sandy. I'm the community leader slash founder of Geek Girls Myanmar. We started this Geek Girls Myanmar in 2014, in September. Uh, we started it uh, because we just want to create the community platform for women in technology who are lacking, you know, the very, um, you say, the community to reconnect themselves and to share their own knowledge and what they are doing. And thing. because for guys, this is okay and it's very convenient to gather each other to talk about technology programming uh, game but for girls it's like uh, uh, it's some uh, social norm and you know the traditional culture is hindering them to you know uh, come out from home and just talk about you know what they are doing so the key girls uh, objective is just to uh, gather them in one place to hang out and to share what they have learned, what they know, and what they really want to learn in the future. Uh, I'm Kim and I work at Pandia. The Geek Girls Myanmar is a community that helps Geek Girls, uh, geek girls in technology to empower each other and also to be connected, be connected uh, to connecting each other, uh, like by supporting them with the technology or maybe even like empowering and building confidence and building also the network. Okay, I'm Shane Yawei. Uh, I'm the web developer, but now I'm CEO and co-founder of my tech.
company, Technoholic, which is the tech solution provider. We need, of course, uh, it's a community, so we can meet so many new tech buddies there. But except from my colleagues, since my background is technical background, uh, except from my colleagues and classmates, it's, it's difficult for us to meet new geek girls outside. So with, with having this, joining this community, we're able to meet new geek girls and share our experience and knowledge with each other. And, and of course, we can geek out together <laughs> in, with this community. My name is Henny Miaowei, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Technoholic uh, Tech Solutions. For geek girls, we, we don't know there to say just two of us. We don't know where the other girls. So when we joined the girls, we know where we could find the businesses and other the girls and other uh, colleagues to start to start our business like that. So it's the girls is an organization. Organization of the girls really effective for us. These days, a lot of people say that like phone is like a prison that people can get out, but we are just using technology as a step to go forward. Technology is not just using a certain app or anything. It is about the connecting with people, and it also counts community. So it really empowers. I think without technology, we wouldn't be going that far. I mean, for daily basics, uh, the bus, uh, we have bus system transportation. We don't have technology because we're still using the manpower to take the money, to pay the money. So that, that, that's not productive actually. So I think that technology is really important in life. So far it's like for, for me, if we don't have technology, we can't do anything yet. A really great impact on me. The tech really have impact on me and I think without it, I won't be I can't be commuting with uh, the other uh, to to the other persons to uh, continue my work or everything like that. I think I can't imagine without tech in my life. <laughs> in, te uh, in tech free, like seventy percent, the number of the women are uh, actually um, higher than the, the men. Well, just. Just that you no, know, they are not in the uh, leading role yet. But in five years, it's like there will be. I'm seeing there will be more uh, some women doing tech startup and leading their own business. I think it would be higher than the present. Having this kind of community, Giga Myanmar, or oh, there were like that. Oh, there are so many organizations that empowering women. So with such kind of support from others, I hope. Uh, in three or five years, there will be a heap of talented women um, taking uh, part in leadership groups. We're going to work better, um, I mean work harder than before to, uh, to be, to, when I say, to increase the woman role, woman, to increase the woman power in leading roles in like five years. And I'm going to be one of them. And I'm going to encourage the other girls to be in the to be more participating in the leading role of our country as well. Mm -hmm.